This is a tutorial on how to install the grass compression gland. First of all, we're going to start here with the lid, lid completely disassembled. You'll have to have removed your other compression gland. Right here you can uh, see that this one's been removed. We're starting with the, the lid. And first thing you want to make sure is the O-rings are in properly and so we're going to just lubricate them a little bit with a tiny bit of Vaseline. Each O-ring and then they'll be uh, placed into the four recessed holes that are in there. Just make sure that the lid's been cleaned out properly. And we're going to take the, uh, the compression gland, the gra grass gland, and we're going to slide it in through the lid and line it up with the four holes. And then uh, four brass screws. These only have to be in just, just a little more finger tight. Um, the pressure from the chamber actually makes the seal against the rubber and the screws are just holding the insert in place. As it helps to lift the uh, lid just a tiny bit at the very end, make sure that all four screws have been properly seated. Turn this over, and what we're going to do is make sure that we get the um, the seal lined up. Now the seal goes in next. The gasket this is the compression gasket for grass, and to make sure that slides in there and is properly aligned, it goes to the fat side flat, fat flat side down, and then we're just going to line that up, and then the insert's going to go concave side down, flat side up to match the gasket. And then we're going to put in a friction washer on top of that. The friction washer just simply keeps um, the two parts, the screw and the insert, from galling each other. And then last, we're going to put on a, uh, the compression gland screw. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little tiny bit of lithium grease on there, on the threads, and that just helps uh, helps it operate smoothly. Just put that on there, and then. Uh, That'll be screwed down in there. You want to make sure that your uh, your friction washer doesn't get bound up when you're first setting that in there. You should have a nice represent. And then you can just pick that up and we'll take a look on the bottom. So you can see that that has lined up properly and it's ready now to go out in the field and use for uh, sealing grass.